ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति दादी जी का लंदन से जाना हुआ दादी जी वेन टू लंदन फॉर वर्ल्ड सर्विस इन 1974 दीदी मनमोहिनी जी तथा दादी जी ने ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम दादी जी एंड दीदी मनमोहिनी दी मेड माय प्लान टू फॉर लंदन सेवा फॉर लंदन सर्विस सौभाग्य की बात थी वैसे तो दादी जी कुछ समय के बाद लंदन आफ्टर सम टाइम आने वाली थी दादी वाज अबाउट टू कम बैक टू इंडिया परंतु सेवा को देखते हुए बट बाय लुकिंग एट द सर्विस एंड द प्लेस बेहद की सेवा की भावना से बिकॉज ऑफ द अनलिमिटेड इंटेंशन टू डू अनलिमिटेड सर्विस दैट इज प्रोग्राम वो सच दैट कि वहां रहना रहने का टाइम बढ़ता चला गया दैट द टाइम स्पैन फॉर हर सर्विस इंक्रीज्ड कंटीन्यूअसली इट वाज अ ब्यूटीफुल पीरियड संग रहने का अ ब्यूटीफुल पीरियड टू बी इन हर कंपनी डे एंड नाइट फिर तो प्रोग्राम ही यही था कि वहीं रहना है लेट इज द प्रोग्राम वॉज दैट दैट शी हैड टू स्टे बैक देर इन ऑर्डर टू स्टे फिर देर परमानेंटली ग्रीन कार्ड लेने के हिसाब से मतलब भारत में आने की इन ऑर्डर टू टेक ग्रीन कार्ड अगर भारत शी डिन गेट परमिशन टू कम टू इंडिया If she had to come to India, she had to come like a visitor and has to go back to London like a visitor. So it was clear that these qualities was that how to make foreigners into Indians into our own like a family. During that time was a era of hippies. Mostly youngsters and youth. वो अपना बड़े अच्छे-अच्छे घरों के लोग अपना घर छोड़कर from royal families, from good good family background, they would resign their job because during that time they would get job quickly. तो अच्छे-अच्छे घरों से so those youngsters who belong to good family had a good family background who had this disinterest but didn't have the right path nor had a proper goal in their life but definitely they had a search inside a quest inside there was quest inside them but it was not clear so that they was like for people who were wandering and for people who wandered from their family people started feeling that they have come home when they meet dadi dadi ji created a vibration of spirituality they used to be buddies in the evening and that they would also that they also had keen interest in buddies so once who was staying with dadis janti ban was there i was there so the three of us were permanent others used to come and go slowly slowly kumari's class increased the number of kumaris increased and janti ban's parents were there they would come in the morning that is natural sanskar which she inculcated inside us too was out of the sustenance out of the spiritual sustenance how to connect other souls with the supreme they would pay class in the morning and uh, at 11 o'clock uh, they would we would get the notes uh, at 11 am 
there would be a 1020 Indian brothers and sisters that they would the post that she gets from Madhuban daily that they would read that aloud so 11 o'clock class was not uh, a normal class regular class but those who were at the center and nearby that they would sit with them and read the post that she received from Madhuban aloud so there would be a gathering like this and there would be a spiritual conversation connection with Madhuban that they were staying there that they made us feel as if we are getting news from Madhuban and we are sending back the news and uh, that it didn't make us feel as if we are away from Madhuban when the foreigners started coming we would do the course uh, um, Jainti Ben and me I would do the course so as soon as the course ended, completed that they would definitely sit with them it's not as if that it's not like we did the course and she would neglect them no, that they would sit with them and give sustenance so knowledge was inculcated inside them, knowledge was given, knowledge is light, and how knowledge becomes might, going into the depth of that. Nowadays we use the term workshop, but during that time, that is, gathering was of four or five people, so based on different, different topics, which was the main theme of Babas Manli, the question answers was on the main topic. For example, the contrast between soul consciousness and body consciousness, it was not just point, but the practical uh, experience and how to apply that in real life. So that they imparted this in the foundation and that they taught them four main things. So initially those who came, that they would say that empty mind is a double a devil's workshop. So if even if you go, you have to do with the intention of service. So that they would say that even if you want to take a job, you have to do part-time job. And that the second thing that she taught was there should be a small room in your house or Baba's room. If there is no separate room, you can keep a small corner of your flat of, as a Baba's room. Even if you had to stay there, bedroom, but you should keep one small corner for Baba's room. And the next thing was to prepare your own food. So it was the basic training that the foundation that she imparted in the souls. And for Amritvela Yoga, um, that they would call others too. And the third thing was to have a connection with the Brahmins. Because uh, many had no connection with their own family members for four, five years. And the result was this, that when they came to know their that their uh, children is moving forward in a good way and they had connection with their family, the service took place of the family members and realized that soul. And slowly, slowly, that they started building place. So the, uh, the uh, brothers uh, started keeping their place clean and the atmosphere should be that of very spiritual atmosphere. So the place that she was staying was, the owner of the place was influenced by her because she didn't have a TV, no radio. There was an environment of uh, silence in that place. And the owner said that, so that, that owner said, if there's any person like you, uh, you can ask that person to stay in another owner of mine. So slowly, slowly, uh, Daddy started building her own um, center. 
After for, uh, a person came and said, why are you doing, uh, or staying in a rented house? Why can't you stay in your own center? So that person's son had to go to Iran in for military purpose, and that person uh, gave a building. In the same manner, Kumari's building was built because the place that we were say, staying had only two rooms and um, and it was rented home. And we would sleep there, we would uh, have class on the same room and would prepare food there that they would uh, sleep in, on the gatti and we would sleep on the floor. Slowly, slowly, when she got the place, Slowly, Shakti Bhavan, Pandu Bhavan, Shanti Bhavan, Sukta, different, different buildings um, were built for brothers, sisters, and the service started improving. So, the the nature of freedom that foreigners had um, to be aloof from their family members, that they connected with uh, the foreigners with the family members and did service in two ways. Charlie Ben by Ken by. So when they went back at home, their parents gave cooperation to them and started doing service. So through service, how we ignite the light in other souls? Slowly, slowly, different uh, service started expanding. So wherever the brothers and sisters went in their countries, they and that they made sure that they got a training, and that they also imparted such uh, qualities inside us. There are many qualities of that Deji. And one most important quality was she would experiment it, the point on herself before telling to others. Dadi has practiced how to apply the power of yoga. When her health was not well, from morning till e evening, she would engage in 11 hours of service. When she was a little bit ill, she would become introverted. When someone goes and speaks that day, so when someone comes that they made sure that nobody should uh, look at my body or illness but they should remember Baba so that he made sure that through her face that illness should not be reflected through her face so if there's pain on her legs her face would be cheerful, so that they would say that the problem is with the leg. Why? What's the problem with my face? So this is the controlling power that she had. It's based on her tapasya. Along with that, the unlimited sustenance that she gave, how to hold on the gathering together. When the, that he goes to do different programs, we would go with that day, even if it was a small program to give a lecture in library, that they would come with us. And the most interesting thing was how to give the cooperation through vibrations. So the, on the topic in which we had to give the speech, that they would have a conversation on that. And that, that they would say that I won't be doing lecture there, but through, for Baba's children, my intention should reach them. 
So that they would elevate us before going to do service. Once there was Jante Ben's program, and she was not there. She went to some other country. The program was in Great Britain, and I was new. I didn't have much practice on of English, but we had to do the speech because it's a public program. It was there in the calendar that they said, definitely we'll have to go. You have to do give the speech. I said, Dati, I don't have much practice in speaking English. There will be, uh, you can ask other sisters who English is good. There were like four or five good sisters who can speak good English. But Dati said, what is the meaning of speech? Speech is not about words. The people outside will speak English, but God's language is not words. God's language is love. It's your love towards God, your feelings towards God. You have to speak that. It's not about putting words together. You're talking about Baba. You're giving experience that you have with Baba. Then automatically, Baba will definitely give to other souls what they have to get. Don't be conscious about the language that how to give message to others. So. I had this fear of language, not speaking good English, which I call this body conscious. Daddy made sure that I leave this body consciousness of language consciousness. So Daddy made sure that the language that you're speaking should be of that of love, so that other can feel Baba's love through you. So inside, there was confidence, there was courage and goal. Daddy also made me beyond the language. This is Daddy's gift to me. Om Shanti.